What we have here is an A coil. One of the reasons they call it an A coil is because it's in the shape of an A. We're just gonna go over the basics of how to break these down. So the first thing you're gonna do is take all of the screws out of it. They can be smaller, quarter inch, uh, in this case it's 5 16 A drill will work, a nut driver will work, or whatever. So now it's two pieces. We're gonna flip it around. See all this is what's holding it together. A vise would come in handy here. Then we'll take a metal blade on a reciprocating saw or a saws off. What you're gonna wanna do is this is steel right here. So you're gonna wanna take the blade at the very edge of this piece of steel. So that's one side, so that's what it looks like when it's clean. And this is what the steel part looks like. So you wanna get it as close to there as you can. When these popped out, you're gonna to wanna to keep them. That's gonna be number two copper. Before I do this again, I'm gonna get a dust mask. I don't wanna be breathing in whatever this crap is. Make sure I put the mask on and this, this time. Got one more to cut. Get, oh, there goes some copper, oh, more copper. It's got some little copper uh, metal pieces in it too. This could definitely be considered clean. Copper. So that right there would be what they would call a clean coil. Clean coil would mean it has no steel attachments. It's nothing but the aluminum coil and the uh, copper tubing. And for these, there's a few ways, a few ways you can get this out. So some come out easy, some come out hard, some are still stuck in. These ones are stuck in pretty good. You can kind of twist this and grab it, and it comes out. I would get all the easy ones with these. All the easy, that one wasn't easy. Anything easy that just pops out with this, that one popped out. So anything easy, get with that. Anything that's a little tougher that you need to work at, then just use your cattle lock. So you're gonna kind of want to use a combo with these, and then you're left with your piece of steel, which you're gonna put with the rest of the steel and either toss it or scrap it. So we got all this copper. We're just gonna break this off. We still have to get this cut off because this is brass, this is steel, and this is copper. That could have been a little cleaner. Then we're gonna have to take that off too. So this is the only piece of brass that you're gonna have. So now we're left with these, which you can just throw in the pile of number two copper. Or if you wanna try to get every little bit extra that you can, you can break this down as well. One of the easiest ways that I found to cut copper is the same way you would cut copper wire. So what I have is a whole pair of loppers. Just find where you want to cut. Now you got a quick easy without using your uh, Sawzall number one copper. For this, cut these ends off. Cut off here and have number one. And then that is number two copper. Number one copper now. So now you're starting a little pile of number one. You take these, push them all together. So that would be your number two. All of these are almost number one, but we still gotta get the other ends off.
Now we have another piece of number one. You can do that for all of these, basically cutting at each knob. So now you got your number two piece that has the solder and everything on there. You go in your number two pile. We got a few knobs to cut off here because the part with the solder is not number one. Here's another good example of the number one to number two. You can see this is just regular clean copper with no attachments. Up here has solder on it. So that part would be number two. This part would be number one. You get paid more for number one. So there you have it. You have your number two copper, which has all been separated. You have number one copper. You have aluminum copper foils. You have a piece of brass. And then you have the steel. And that's it. That's how you can separate it down into uh, what's going to maximize your money. There you go. Good luck. Happy scrapping.